The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Caliquid here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team episode of the Road to Red series. Guys, what we're doing on this series, if you missed it, is we're trying to build an all elite team from an all bronze team. We're starting off in draft champions, so make sure that you guys go back and watch the previous video so that you kind of get an idea of what this is. Uh, I will leave a link to that in the description below. There will also be an annotation on your screen here for you to click on if you want to go back and watch that first episode so you get, again, kind of an idea of what we're doing. This is the draft champions lineup to start things off. Uh, we are going to play through the full draft champion series here in today's episode, so you guys will see all four games that I play, um, and then that'll give you kind of a good idea of you know exactly what we're going to do with our team. So uh, with that being said, guys, this is the first game that we played. Opening lineups here. We've got Ricky Williams, Glover Quinn, and Alshon Jeffrey, my opponent with Tim Brown on his team as well. So pretty solid lineups on both sides of the football. We're starting things off here. Ricky Williams right up the middle. That was my first attempt with him in this game this year. Definitely like Ricky Williams. Right here, we're going to drop it off to Gary Barnage. And of course, my elite tight end is going to fumble, but he does recover it. Thank goodness. Going back to the passing game here, and we find a man over the middle. It's Conley. A nice reception there. Conley is definitely a nice player. I'm a big fan of him. Should have passed it there to Ricky Williams in the flat there on third down. But it does bring up a fourth down right about midfield. And I decide to go for it. Beautiful pass there right on the money by Wentz to Alshon Jeffrey. We get the first down. Third and eight now later in the drive. We're going to go deep here into the end zone. And it is just terribly overthrown there. Not even a catchable pass there, unfortunately, by Wentz. So we do take the three points on the first drive. Uh, I decided I wanted to go for it on that first fourth down because uh, I wasn't in scoring position. But I felt like I was still had a good chance. And worst case scenario was I was probably giving up like 20 yards of field position. So not a big deal. But defensively, we're looking pretty good. Locking everything down there. I don't know why he decided to scramble to the left. He had no receivers to the left. And we just brought the pressure. Another nice sack there. Uh, Williams up the middle, and we do get the ball back now with a lead, and we're going to find Alshon Jeffrey again there on that corner route. Nice reception there. Going to go with a screen pass now because we see our, our opponents running a lot of zone coverage, and he's not really hard covering the flats. So we pick up an easy first down there to, to uh, Conley, and now we're going to go here to Bar Gary Barnage once again over the middle. That's going to be a consistent theme for us because Gary Barnage is very difficult to cover on those slant routes. He, for some reason, he just catches everything everything in traffic and I definitely like to see that and again we're going to find him over the middle Th three plays basically in a row there getting us all the way into the end zone now the ensuing kick we're already up 10 now take a look at what my opponent does here he takes the ball and for some reason runs it out of the end zone and then stops playing and gets hit in the backfield or in the end zone I should say a few seconds later we are going to find the rage quit I'm assuming that he just got a little bit frustrated because he couldn't stop my offense and uh, his offense wasn't looking very good in that game either so we do get one upgrade to our team because we got the win. Now, again, the only things that we can upgrade to are players that we get in our draft champions. So we've got an ultimate team that's full of all bronzes, and the only way for us to upgrade it, uh, upgrade it right now at least, is to get a uh, win in draft champions. So in, in that case... We do get to upgrade to one of the players that we have in draft champions. Hopefully that makes sense. It'll make a little bit more sense here in a little bit. But my opponent is starting things off here on offense. And of course, the deep ball. Just so unstoppable in this game. So frustrating. But we do get very, very lucky there because my opponent fumbled trying to dive to the ground extremely bailed out I'm not even gonna lie and we're gonna find a man there in the flats wide open on third and three picking up a nice first down another guy in the flats here again is Gary Barnage a little bit worried that he was gonna fumble there but Barnage is looking very good for us go back to the screen pass here in this game little spin move there picking up another nice first down very quickly moving down the field not very difficult at all for us to move the ball at this point and he is definitely strugg struggling defensively and we're gonna find Ricky Williams there on the wheel route out of the backfield sick catch there in traffic by Ricky Williams but that's why you pay for that that running back and draft champions man big big play there another first down now it's third and goal here and we're going to try and run this thing in here with Ricky Williams stacked box for sure but I think we've got a good chance here if we can push it in with Ricky Williams but unfortunately our own lineman stuffs us and unfortunately we are going to have to settle for three so 
ensuing drive by my opponent. He's going to try and go deep here again, and this time it is not going to work out for him. We get that interception with David Amerson. We've got the ball back on offense here, and it's time for Ricky to run, baby. Look at him just running that little bitch over in the secondary. I think that's Harrison Smith just taking the L on that one, and Ricky Williams now back up the middle here. More yardage up the middle and just dominant running game right now. Seven attempts, 33 yards, looking pretty good, and we're going to get down to about the three-yard line here with another run 30 seconds left in the half and Ricky down now to the one yard line and we're going to give it to Carson Wentz here up the middle on the QB sneak for the touchdown giving my opponent just 20 seconds left in the first half and he's going to go into traffic again and get picked off on that one so we are back now close to scoring position here all we need is about a first down but my opponent is going to decide to walk away from this game as well so we do get Two W's in a row here to start our Draft Champions Series off. Looking very, very good right now. Two upgrades to the team. So we can either decide to go to two silvers or all the way up to a gold if we want to. Third game of the series now. And look at Ricky Williams go just diving and dipping through people. Trying to juke him out here. Hit him with the stiff arm. But unfortunately, he does get the tackle. Still a huge gain there on the first drive. Next play, we're going to go play action here. And gosh, dude, are you serious? The pass rush is so real in this game when you try and do play action. I do not understand it. And, of course, my opponent's going to celebrate on that one like he did something. So he gets the touchdown there with Anthony Barr after a huge gain on the first play running the ball. So needless to say, I'm a little bit frustrated right now. But we're trying to keep our composure here. Gary Barnage over the middle, a nice gain there, picking up a big first down. We're going to go back to the passing game here again. It's Conley up the middle. He is very, very fast. I think he's 90 or 91 speed. So that is definitely a big advantage that we have. And right there, again, after driving all the way down the field, we get hit by the pass rush again. And we turn the ball over for the second time in the red zone already in this game. Already down seven. My opponent gets the ball, but he drops a pass there on third down. And we are getting the ball back here. Nice gain there by Gary Barnage on the outside. We're going to go back to the flag route again. And look at this. It's Ricky Williams all the way down the sideline, juking and jiving. Breaking a tackle taken down inside the five. We've got another chance here to score. We've got to get points on the board here. We cannot turn the ball over. And thankfully, Ricky Williams is going to come up in the clutch there, getting a touchdown. So we tie this game up. Minute and a half left in the first half, trying to take things away. And we get the user pick, baby. That's how we do it. Taking two routes away on that one, getting the interception. And now we have the ball at the 45-yard line. And my opponent is going to, oddly enough, decide to quit this game as well. So that's three in a, a row, three rage quits, four. Looking very, very good now into our fourth game of the series. Now, this one is definitely the most challenging of the whole bunch. But right here, first play of the game, we make a nice completion down the field there for 22. Looking very, very good in the passing game to start things off. And Ricky Williams now continuing to assert himself with the run. Seven-yard gain there on first down. Back to Williams on second down. But unfortunately, hit in the backfield there. I don't know if he committed on the run or what, but fourth and five here, and we're going to throw a bad pass there. Should have thrown it underneath. Probably would have had the first down, but we throw it right to his user. Nice play by my opponent in coverage. So now he is going to go on offense. Big, big completion there, man. I can't really, I, I guess, I don't know. It, it looks to me like that should have been incomplete based on traffic and being hit right when he caught the ball. But, you know, if I want to make those catches myself, I can't complain when my opponent does. And he's going to hit me with a drag here, pick up a nice block and get all the way down to about the two yard line. Thought he was going to get in the end zone there, but he didn't. But second and goal here, a couple plays later, and he is going to pick up the blocks that he needs and get into the end zone with his own Ricky Williams. So we're down seven again, another de deficit to start the game for us, but we're moving on back down the field. Gary Barnage there in the in the flats making a nice catch. We're going to go down the field here to Ricky Williams again, and he is going to run somebody over, but he's taken down by two guys. Three of four now for Carson Wentz, and we've got Ricky running up the middle again. Big run, breaking a tackle down inside about the 11-yard line there. Again, moving the ball on the ground very, very effectively. And Williams is down to the one-yard line here in the next play. We do get into the end zone there with Carson Wentz on the QB sneak. So at least we tie this thing up. My opponent's got the ball, though, with two minutes left in the first half. And he's going to throw it into traffic again. And for some reason, my safety just does not make a play on the ball or the receiver. That's a little bit frustrating. But, uh, yeah, he's going to get a nice completion there. Another nice completion. Unfortunately, no pass rush is coming through for us defensively. He's 5 of 6 for over 100 yards. Very, very effective passing and another nice pass there. But thankfully, we do make a play on the receiver. But my opponent is going to kick a field goal. 
Unfortunately for him, he actually missed the field goal. It went wide right. So we get the ball back, and Alshon Jeffrey makes a big grab there. We've got time here to move the ball into position here to score. And a huge snag there by Alshon Jeffrey. Gets us down at the 8-yard line. We've got 22 seconds left here, and Ricky Williams is going to carry that thing on into the end zone for the lead. So we're up 14-7 to going into the half. Nice, nice plays for us there. And my opponent's back on it on offense. Another grab in traffic. Damn it, man. If we're going to make plays in coverage, we've got to be able to we've got to be able to make him drop those passes like that. I know he's hitting the seams just perfectly, but damn, that's frustrating, dude. Really, really frustrating, but my opponent continues to drive the ball efficiently down the field, utilizing his passing game. We just cannot seem to stop him. More crossing routes here, and that's just what's killing us at this point. We just cannot stop the crossing routes. My opponent now down inside the five-yard line. He's looking for the touchdown here, and he's going to find a man in the back of the end zone. It's the crossing routes and the fact that we're not getting any sort of block shedding that's absolutely killing us. My opponent sends the pressure on us when we have the ball back, and again, two plays in a row gets to the quarterback. So unfortunately, fourth and 15, we do have to punt. My opponent gets a nice return, and he is now inside our 30-yard line looking to take the lead here in a big run there down to about the 15-yard line. Frustrating stuff for us right now as he is going to complete another pass there to his tight end down at the one-yard line and he gets into the end zone with his own QB sneak. So the script has definitely changed to start the second half and unfortunately we're really struggling fourth quarter we have to get a touchdown here on this drive to tie things up and look at that we missed the first pass and the second pass why what the hell was that look at this slow motion no traffic why does he throw that that horribly and that is going to do it in this game Carson Wentz with a horrendous throw at the end of the game in the clutch, just cannot get it done. I, I have no words for how bad of a pass that was. Absolutely no pressure on the play. Just throws an interception for no good reason at all. Very, very frustrating. Felt like we could have maybe come back and at least tied the game there. Uh, forced overtime. But, you know, it is what it is. So, basically, guys, we go three wins with one loss, which means we're going to be able to make three upgrades to our team. So, that means we can either upgrade one player to a gold or, excuse me, to an elite. Or we can make a couple upgrades here. Uh, and that's what we decide to do. So, the other thing is here is that we do get our, pl our player pass here from draft champions which means that we're going to get at least one gold player to uh, kind of boost our team a little bit so hopefully we get somebody good here and this is the first pack that we get so the first card at tim hightower and then we get a mcdonald here two silvers though at least that's better three silvers to upgrade our team and then we get an anthony costanzo so basically we get a left tackle that's a gold which is a little bit of an upgrade and then we get a couple of silvers to help out our team as well so with that being said, guys, that is the upgrades to the team. I will show you guys a fully updated lineup in the next video. It's going to show you all the bronzes that we've got along with a couple of the upgrades that we're able to make. And with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And guys, we will have that next video with the updated lineup in the first game of the series for the actual head-to-head uh, -head seasons here in the next day or two. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you again soon.